In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to solve a proof in Microsoft Word. The first thing you want to do is open up Word. Next, you will want to insert a table. It's a good idea to write the proof at the top um, before you insert the table. Uh, so first, click the table function. This is on the insert tab. You'll click table, and you want your table to be at least three columns wide. Next, you'll want to label the premises or number them. Uh, you'll put the numbering on the left-hand side, and you'll put the premises, if there are any, in the middle column. And you'll want to put any justification you might have in the right-hand column. Uh, to make this a little bit cleaner, we can double-click this column divider and double-click the far right column divider. Uh, the next step will be to proceed through the, the proof. So, for example, um, we can solve decompose line one using conjunction elimination one conjunction elimination, and then we can make use of lines two and three using conditional elimination and each time you tab you can open up a new row. So that's the fundamentals of creating a proof involving premises. The difficulty emerges when you want to make assumptions. In order to do this uh, what you'll do is you'll open up a table just as you did and you can cl right click the cell you want to add an assumption to Click split cells. You'll want two columns, one row, and then you've created a line right here. It's a good idea if you're going to be working within the assumption to make this the last line of the table. So you can, when you tab this uh, split cell or this little spine right here, will continue in each sub in every subsequent cell. So, for example, in this proof, we'll assume not Z. Uh, this is an assumption for the purpose of contradiction. We'll double click this right column to make it a little bit wider. We'll insert Q from line 5, reiteration. We'll insert not Q from line 4, reiteration. And now that we have the contradiction, we want to exit the subproof here. One way to do this is to highlight the cell, uh, holding down the left um, button, right click, and then you can click merge cells. So you're going to merge these cells together. And when you merge the cells together, it eliminates this split cell that you created. So you can press Z, and this is line 6 through 8, negation, elimination. And here you created a full proof that's easy to read in Microsoft Word. If you want to make your proof look really spiffy, this is not necessary for the purpose of the course, but you want a really clean looking proof. What you can do is select the whole table, you can then right click, click Table Properties, click Borders and Shadings, eliminate all the borders by clicking selecting None. And now you've eliminated all of the borders so it's hard to see. But what you want to do is keep the spine for the subproof. So you'll highlight those cells. You'll right click. You'll click Table Properties. You'll click Borders and Shadings. And you'll select just the area of those cells that you want the line to appear on. So in this case we want the um, border to appear on the left hand side so we'll select that so you, you see that in the preview it indicates that the left hand side border is going to appear press OK OK again and now we have a really clean looking table so it's not necessary that you do this extra step but the first steps are essential if you want a clean looking proof that's easy to grade and one that um, clearly demonstrates that you know how to solve the proof